Okay, I'm going to illustrate one of the issues with the SG-235 that I'm not overly enthused about. I think it's logic, software, I don't know. Maybe it's something to do with this unit. So if you followed my saga on my QRZ page, you'll see that I had plenty of problems with this thing. I had it replacing a bunch of chips. I replaced all these latching drivers, the op amp, the uh, charge pump or DC converter to convert plus 5 volts to minus 5 volts. Uh, and I got it back working. I ended up blowing it up. Re uh, I blew a relay up. I replaced uh, 12 of those. It's back to where it was. But uh, it, it works okay, sort of. It recalls its previous tune from memory pretty quick. I like that. Uh, I'll illustrate that. So if you can see the radio, there's uh, 14, uh, it's 20 meters, 14.233. And let me power off the, uh, the tuner. And you probably hear a click. And I'm going to hook the clip lead back up and you'll hear it uh, click again. Okay. It gets in some mode. And without doing any tuning, it seems to remember that tune because as soon as I key up the mic, I have the radio set. The Azu uh, is interesting. The only way to really control the power. I mean, this tuner will tune in 100 watts. Uh, I actually like to bring it down a little lower. So if you hold the function key down, you go into the menu item called HF Power. And that's the actual uh, power that will use when you're selected CW. And for the band, if you hold down on a band switch, you can change the mode. Just by spinning the wheel, I have it set to CW. So let's key up and see what happens. Bam, I heard one click and light bulb lights, SWR, one to one. Perfect one to one. I have the meter set for uh, SWR. And you probably heard that one click, boom. So it recalled that frequency from memory. It knew what tuning solution, what mix of capacitors and inductors to put in there. Here's kind of the issue. It sort of remembers that for some bands, but not always. If I go over 18 megahertz, uh, 163, this should have had something in memory, uh, but it doesn't. So what happens is I key up, it's, the radio is showing infinite SWR, so it's got really high SWR. The tuner is somewhat confused because that last LED is called a tune LED. And I think the third one up is high SWR. So we go look on the legend here. Uh, third one, no, let's see here. Uh, fade. Oh, third one up is, means it's greater than two to one SWR. So higher than SWR. So it knows, oh, look at that. That's interesting. There's a grounding problem here. That light's not supposed to be going on when I push down on that. Uh, that could be, Another issue? I'm not sure. We'll have to look into that. Uh, why is that doing that? Uh, that could be the problem, I don't know. But anyway, when I key up, you got infinite SWR. Uh, it detects forward power. And what's supposed to happen is when you do that and it notices the high SWR, SWR I'm going to hold the mic down. It's only 10 watts. There we go. And it took a long time. I heard click, click. And it, it uh, queried the memory for that frequency and apparently knows that there's a tune in there, a mix for that. And the SWR is a, just a tad lower than 1.5, not ideal, but it did that. But it took a long time to do that. My SG-237, wherever it is, I'm not sure what I did with it, uh, is instant. It goes click, bam, and that's kind of the issue. And then sometimes if it doesn't have a tune in memory, I have to wait that time, and then it goes through a whole tuning uh, a whole uh, tuning procedure, and that takes a long time for some reason on this tuner. So let's see what happens on, uh, on 40 meters here. Okay, same same thing. Oh, there we go. It, it pulled a tune up, but it's really high. See, here's the situation there. Okay, so you hear it click. So it started off with a high SWR. It decided to either query the memory again, and as long as it's below two, I don't think it's going to initiate a tune. More times than not, the, the one that's in memory is usually a lower SWR, and the bulb will be a little brighter. Nonetheless, it remembered it, so we'll go over to 80 meters, see what happens. Same thing. So really high SWR. So the third LED knows it's greater than 2-1. And if I hold it down, we'll see how long it takes to query memory and try to rectify it. So here we go. 1,001. 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, there. Five seconds. And when click, click, it must have uh, recalled something from memory. Less than two to one. Not ideal. But I guess it's somewhat of an acceptable match. Although I would have expected that better. 
Uh, if we go lower in the band, or let's go higher in the band. So it's really slow that way. I'm, I'm not sure I like that. Uh, let's go to another band. Let's go see what happens on uh, 10 meters. Same thing. So really in front of SWR. Uh, for some reason it thinks it's still tuned, which is inaccurate. But it does know it has higher than a 2 to 1 SWR. So let's key it up and hold up and hope the radio survives with that high SWR. That's why I have it set to low power 25 watts. Here we go. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. There, you see, it's in five seconds. It didn't seem to have any memory, so it's initiating the whole tune cycle again. So it's going to go rattle through all the different half moon combinations. And you hear and see that doing it now. There, you hear it ratcheting back. Bam. Okay, it found something. Where is it? It's a little over two to one. You can see the two to one LED blinking a little bit. It goes two to one, but it's okay. And if I hold it, it should technically, uh, there, start another, oh, it went back to memory. I'm not sure what it's doing. It should actually initiate another tune and try to get a better tune. Well, let's see, I don't like, I'm just holding the mic down the whole time like I'm talking. Or see that, well, actually, this is, well, this is weird. It's sitting there in a loop. This is a problem. Let's see. So it's hunting. I'm going to unkey. It still shows tune. I'm going to key up again. Okay, see, it's indecisive. So... Now the fan on the radio is kicked in. Uh, it knows it's over 2 to 1. You can see the third LED up is on. It doesn't like that. It seems to go and query memory and finds the only solution it has. So there's an indication of a possible software problem. So it should reinitiate a whole other tune. If it's not, if it keeps in a loop like that, it's querying memory. The memory tune is giving it a higher SWR. I'm going to unkey. Probably because last time it tuned was not on a light bulb. It was something else. And it's right on a threshold. So 10 meters is a wide band. So that was up to 29. So let me go down a little portion of 10 meters out to 28, 400, 500, somewhere thereabouts. Okay, now let's see what happens here. Okay, it has, it just happened to be less than 2, 2 to 1, just a little bit over 2 to 1. Not enough to trick, uh, trigger the uh, LED that says over 2 to 1. In fact, let's move it over. Yeah, let's see if we go a little bit lower. So, the bulb's getting a little brighter. So, it's, <clears throat> it's really weird that way. It should technically initiate uh, another tune and get a better tune. So, yeah, the logic in this thing, I would have expected this to be much better. Uh... Maybe it's an old one. I know that the, the firmware date is 1995, which is pretty old, relatively speaking, especially when it's 2020. Uh, I think we're out of being. Oh, we're still good here. SWR. Okay, this will initiate. Okay, this is showing a high SWR. Three. There we go. Oh, it's back in that loop. Oh, no. See here, it went back to memory. It pulled something out of its butt in memory and came down with about a 1.7 SWR, 1.8. Must have had something in its memory, and it's happy with that. Bulb is reasonably bright for 25 watts, 100 watt light bulb. So there's some quirks uh, in it. I don't know how to fix any of that, if it can be fixed. I'm at the point thinking this is firmware. I don't know if we can see it. I should get going. Video's getting a little long. It's, uh, yeah, it's an older firmware. Like I said, the 237, but the 237 is only a 100 watt version. works so much better and faster, so... Let's see what happens here. So we switched to uh, 40 meters. Same thing. Oh, okay. High SWR, 3. Although we do got glow, so it's somewhat usable. Oh, see. Okay, see, now it pulled something out of its memory. I heard it click. It pulled a different uh, combination out. SWR is under 2. Not ideal. But the bulb's lighting uh, moderately bright. Now, to reset this thing, there's this blue wire. If you just ground this, and you'll hear the relays click. There, that initiates a reset for what that's worth. I don't know if it's going to try to retune. Yeah, it just requeried the memory again. So, let's go up in the high band. I don't know how to delete the memories. Okay, out of band there. Oh, there we go. So there, that's uh, the tune it has is actually for a higher frequency because they're less than 1.5, which is good. Bulb is pretty bright. Tuner's happy. So, 
Let's go down to the lowest portion I think we can go on light bulb. Oh, here we go. So that shot the SWR up over three. Okay, 1001, 1002, 1003. It should initiate a new tune. Oh, it didn't. It said query memory again. But see, it shouldn't have waited that long. It just said, hey, my SWR is too long. We have one second. Boom, query memory. Do I have a better tune? Try it. Test the SWR again. If not, go into a full tune and, and retune again. So uh, SGC needs to look at that logic, or I just need to accept this thing for what it is. So see you later.